It feels like there is something in this place. People have been telling stories about seeing ghosts around that place for generations. Isn't it obvious? Paranormal activity. So first, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to chat with me. We're all really excited about season two of the series. Uh, have Have you guys heard responses from fans as far as season one storylines that really stuck out to them? What has the experience been so far working on this show? Well, the the one the one thing I can say is that it's been overwhelmingly positive. I mean, I haven't really. And that's unusual. Maybe not in kids programming, but but certainly in adult programming, there's as many people slamming you as liking you, no matter what the show is. So uh, uh, I think that you know the, it's the the constant cry has been more, more, more. You know, hence season two, and then maybe a season three, uh, which tells us we've been doing something right. Yeah, I think the biggest compliment is hearing from adults that they're watching the show. Uh, maybe found it on Disney Plus that they would never watch a show on Disney Channel, but it's not a kid's show, you know? It's not your typical show. And I think that it's refreshing to hear because we do want a broad audience and we've, that's the way we write. We're writing adults as well as kids in this show. That's great. It's interesting how you said that uh, the way that the show is written isn't just specifically for kids. And I think that really shows in the different storylines and the way that the show presents itself and everything. So where did the premise for this show really come from? Where did the idea come from? Was it always destined to be on a children's network, but kind of go beyond just the kids genre? I think the idea was create a show that parents could watch with their kids almost uh, reminiscent of when I was a kid, you had like appointment television on Friday night, um, TGIF, but those were all sitcoms. But so this were different movies influenced it, obviously Goonies, uh, mystery adventure, something that boys and girls could both watch. Um, Disney was really big on keeping kids around who generally age out of their programming. So how do you keep them around? You keep them around by telling good story and by not writing down to them. So uh, not saying that the other shows do, but uh, our, our goal was to make a show that kids would talk about that they wanted to binge watch, that um, if they were too young to watch a Stranger Things, they could have this and they could talk about it. Social media is the new water cooler. <laughs> from, from our past. Uh, also, I would say that um, no matter what Tracy and I have done, either together or separately, uh, all all good story comes from within the characters. So it doesn't really matter how old they are or whatever their experience level is. Um, you know, even in a limited time, children have fascinating lives to me. So uh, as Tracy said, writing down to them. I don't think is the way to do it. I'm, I'm not sure many people in children's programming do write down to it. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they think that way, uh, even if they're doing a sitcom. Um, but but we we consciously went in thinking Disney Plus, quite frankly, that that's where our audience was going to be. And it, Disney Plus hadn't even premiered when we you know created the show or Tracy created it. But um, it, it's interesting that it did well, I suppose, on Disney Channel, but it was it was when it got to Disney Plus that we got the second season. So um, and then it was, you know, in repeats. Now we're going to be simul almost simultaneous. So I think there is a broad appeal at Disney Plus, even though they never tell us. Well, I think that's that's certainly helping to, to build the excitement for season two. So. I'm sure you guys can't give too much away, but what can you share about what fans can expect in season two or even first time watchers of the show? You're gonna get a lot of questions answered that were left hanging in season one. You're gonna find out who actually is haunting the Tremont. And, and you're gonna, gonna get a hint of romance. A hint of romance. <laughs> Sounds really exciting and really great. And I'm sure that's exactly what I know personally, that's what, what I want to see in season two. So I'm sure there's a lot of other fans that agree. Finally, I wanted to ask you guys real quick while I have you here, since so much of the show has to do with time travel, if there was one time in history, past or present, that 
if you had the chance to time travel to it, where would you choose to go? Chuck, go ahead. Uh, um, I would go to like 1966 because I think I would like to go as an adult. You know, I, I'm not sure if I have to go back and be a kid because I was a kid in 1966, a little kid. But to go back as an adult to 66 to watch, you know, the really the last time that our the fabric of this country and the world changed uh, with the youth movement and and the first man walking on the moon and, you know, uh, uh, civil rights and the I mean, all the things that that this country started to you now now we're told it hasn't changed that much. But um, what I lived through in the Vietnam War and all of that, just to just to see it again, because, you know, there were no cell phones. It was the beginning of technology, I suppose, a little bit. But, um, you know, as as writers wrote on Selectrics, you know, I'd have a lot of things I'd have to, you know, relearn. But um, uh, 66 Trace. Um, quickly, no, I think I would go back to 1951. Um, that's when my grandparents first met and uh, met. A, they were both in the military, met across the room at a dance. And I think I, I just wanted to see the moment that they met because they were married for 63 years and something about that spark of that first moment kept them together. So that's a good idea for your next series. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. They'll say you ripped yourself off. Though. Yeah, I ripped myself. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, it was really exciting to speak with you both, and we're really excited for the premiere of season two to come in the new year. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.